boaters. I'm Brian from Boat Canvas Factory. I'm going to show you a sunshade on a uh, 44 Jersey Devil. This is RJ Boyle's little sport fish that he charters out for all kinds of different fishing. And we're going to put some shade on it for him. I'm going to do a timed video. It's not going to be a real timed video, but I'm, I'm going to set it up in front of you. I don't have all my straps adjusted to the T yet, so it's going to take a little longer, but I'm going to show you just how easy it is to set it up. And one other point that I want to make, we haven't added any hardware to this boat whatsoever. So this thing goes up and comes down. There's no sign it was ever built. This particular sport fish didn't have a center outrigger, so I built one. It's just a banana shaped aluminum pole to hoist the center of my canvas. It's made out of a lightweight snow white stamoid. It's got a custom bag so it stays nice and white. One thing you got to remember about these things is don't put them away wet. It's just like a tent. You stick it away wet and leave it in there wet and salty for a week, it's going to come out moldy. So that's important. Put it in the bag, dry. It's got four stainless steel poles. We could have built this with two poles, but it was 10 foot long, 10 foot wide. Because it was so wide, I wanted a little extra support, so I, I designed it with four stainless steel poles and a custom padded bag. And um, I just want to show you that. They come out, they don't clang against each other. They, they, they all have their own little individual pouch. I'm going to start the timed video now, even though, like I said, I haven't adjusted my straps. But just to give you an idea how quick and easy it goes up. Tell me when you're ready. And start. Okay. Start with the poles even in the bag. Okay. First pull in. You set it up with the cam cleat kind of facing you like that. Fisher, could you come up and uh, put the center outrigger in for me? Yeah. Just gonna dump this out. All right. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to hook this right here. Goes around the outside and clips just like that. Go to the opposite side. And hook this strap. Fisher's going to hand me the hook for the center. We hook that on. Okay. Stick that in the outrigger, and Fisher, if you can get that, that center strap for me. Then I'm going to go. Easy as that. Stick this one through the pulley into the clam cleat. Cinch it tight. Okay. Then you go to the side. I'm not going to pull that one super tight. I'm going to come over here, do the same thing to this one. Okay. 
There's that. What's the time? Stop. Three and a half minutes. Okay. Three and a half minutes to set this shade up. And uh, here in South Florida, in this spot, we were just sweltering when we were taking the measurements for this thing. So these guys are really going to enjoy this shade. And then you take these tails and you just go, you go around the pole a few times to give it like a little neat nautical look. Cinch the rope like that and then they won't slide down the pole. So three minutes, no hardware added to this boat whatsoever. So what, what, Ryan, what, I think what, it's what, the what, most fantastic invention I've ever seen. <laughs> um, I don't know if I don't know if he got you're a direct. In high <laughs> you were voted wittiest in you high school. You must be a direct that. descendant of uh, Copernicus or Galileo or maybe Da Vinci. You getting all this? Sure. You getting all this, Brett? Yeah. Oh. Turn this into a flying machine later. It's he really only nice. does one show a day, so be ready. What do you think, Cody? Looks great. Three and a half minutes to put it up. You can handle that to get a little shade. You can do that. Definitely. Save the sunburn. People. On a serious <laughs> note, Mark. <laughs> Very quick. You guys do great work. They did my Ocean Master, 31 Ocean Master. Did you talk about that yet? I didn't. Okay, well, we do a lot of special needs kids trips where that back of that boat is as big as this, where it's open and the sun's a huge issue. So, we have a we have the same thing. I think it's probably a two minute setup or less. Yeah, it's small. That you did for us to be able to cover that whole cockpit. So it's huge, not only you know for the special needs kids, but for honestly when we go sword fishing and you have no wind in the summer. Brutal. So sitting out there and being able to have something up, it's changed our whole charter atmosphere. People getting crushed by 100 degree temperatures and all of a sudden you're, you got a slight breeze and they're sitting under it and, and they're happy. But it's change, it changes the demeanor of the people. It, you, you wouldn't think it would until you have it. I like fishing with it up. Mark Parks says, where are we going to put the rods? I said, I don't care as long as we got shaved. I mean, I just went ahead skin cancer cut out of my back five days ago. Bob just yep, had some cut out. Two right on the head right there on the bald spots. So, one on the neck. Um, so you tell me what. Obviously what sun lotion is a big thing, but that's the best sunblock there is right there. No doubt. So worth every penny. No question. And Canvas Factory, you guys are the guys right on it, man. And it's interesting because I will tell you, you know how much of a pain in the butt I am. And really he is. Oh, sorry. And so we had our own ideas about what we thought was going to be better than what he was offering. So at the end of the day, it was like we were battling. We were wondering if Brian was doing the right thing. At the end of the day, once it's up and you see it, that's what he does. People, you know, when people try to tell us how to fish, it's kind of how we reacted when we tried to tell him how to do campus. But at the end of the day, when it was, he, he knows what he's doing. They put it up right. And, uh, that's that. There you go. Thank, Thank you. you. And look, you got a little extra headroom, you know, right here when you're standing here. See? Because I went a little higher than the track. You can stand right here, and I got all this headroom. I'm going to do another quick video so these guys can see how it's done of taking it down. So we just started the clock. First thing you do is pull out these, um, these cam cleats like that. Pull it through the pulley. Come to the other side. Undo my little knot out of the cam cleat, out of the pulley. Same thing here. Fisher, you're going to go up on the bridge for me? I okay. can. Okay. Now, right now, it's not under pressure, so we want to do these clips at this point. We're going to do that clip. And we're going to do this clip. You just, it's just a little pinch clip like that. Quick and easy. Drop that fissure. Okay. Now, can you get that? I can even reach this. I might be the only one who can. Okay. Now I didn't bag it, but what's the time? A minute and five seconds. All right. A minute and five seconds to take it down. And then, you know, you have to store the poles and bag the canvas. I'm going to do one more. So these guys can see how it goes up. I'm gonna put it up one more time. So the center rigger is there. Clip the center outrigger. I like to start right here. 
I go around, I go underneath this little support bar from the outside just like that okay and I go to the opposite side go around the outside and I clip my little plastic clip you want to explain be these three? before anything you know is under pressure and now Fisher's going to do these straps while I go ahead and do the back pulls. Guys, Fisher, tell them what you're doing. Well, this center one just goes around this bar, easy clip, and then these two clip to themselves just to pull it tight. I'm gonna see if I can beat my time on the second time up. I think you did. You think I did? 100%. 100%? You done? Have that stopwatch ready. ready. I'm almost done. Okay, what's the time? Minute and 51 seconds. Minute and 51 seconds to set up a 10 by 10 sail shade. And then, you know, you got to take and do your little nautical ropes. But a minute up, a minute down for shade, it's hard to beat. All right, so shade is so important to enjoying your boat. And we can build these shades on your center consoles no matter where you're at. As long as you're a little bit handy with a tape measure, we can ship these things to you no matter what kind of boat you have. So, you know, feel free to give us a call. Even if we can't help you, I always enjoy talking about boats. So, you know, give me a call. Thanks for watching. And uh, let us help you make your boat a little shadier and a little more enjoyable. Camus Factory is located in Pompano Beach, Florida. We have been in business since 1985, and we take pride in our quality, custom work. For more pictures, you can visit our website, BoatCanvasFactory.com. The link will also be in the description. We specialize in T-tops, Biminis, full boat covers, engine covers, sunshades for both the forward and aft of your boat, windshield back covers, bolsters and cushions, helm seat covers, consoles slash instrument covers, enclosures of all sizes, including acrylic panels, as well as isinglass panels that you can roll up. We also do repairs, as well as waterproof your old canvas if the waterproofing has worn out, as well as much, much more. For example, custom barbecue covers, carpet, as well as carpet runners. Give us a call and let us manufacture you in an effective and attractive custom work of art for your boat. You can find further contact information in the description.